Alhamdulillah, Hirabil Alameen, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam, ama ba'da ayya al-habitifillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ilm al-nafi, rizqan tayyib, wa amin al-mutaqabbil, and bless us with ikhlas, with thabat ala sunnat al-nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ahabitifillah, as we've spoken about countless times, the importance of hastening to break the fast. And this is from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and this differs from the khalifin, those people who differ with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, by delaying to break their fast after the adhan, waiting, meaning after the adhan, delaying their time instead of immediately, uh, as soon as the muadhan begins to call the call to prayer, breaking their fast. This is from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, كَانَ يُحَثَّ أُمَّةً عَلَى هَذَا He used to encourage his ummah to break their fast quickly. أَنْ سَحْلِ بِنْ سَعَدَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَلْعَنْهُ وَأَنَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمَ قَالْ لَا يَزَلَ النَّاسِ بِخَيْرٍ مَا عَجِّلُوا الْفِطْرِ مُتَفَقٌ عَلَيْهِ سَحْلِ بِنْ سَعَدَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَلْعَنْهُ reported the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said people will continue to adhere to good as long as they hasten to break the fast. And of course, again, as we as we explain that this hastening to break the fast is after the muadhan begins to, you know, when the time, dukhul al-waqt, when the time for salat has come in. And the muadhan, usually most of us, if we're around a masjid or in a Muslim land where we can hear the muadhan, then when we begin to hear the adhan, we begin to hear the sound of the muadhan, then we can break the uh, uh, fast, as long as the, of course, the salat has, the time has entered. Of course, if you're away from that, some of, sometimes we're traveling and we rely upon uh, the exact time. The ibra is the waqt, it's the time that salat has entered, the time for maghrib prayer. When Abi Atiya Kala Dakhaltu Anna wa Masruk ala Aishata Radiallahu Tana Anha Fakala Laha Masruk Rajalani Min Ashab Muhammadin Sallallahu Ali wa Salam Kilahuma La Yalu Anal Khair Ahaduhuma Yu Ajilu Al Maghrib Walifthar Wa Iftar Wal Akhir Yu Akhir Al Maghrib Wal Iftar فقالت من يعجل المغرب والإفطار قال عبد الله يعني ابن مسعود فقالت هكذا كان رسول الله كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يصنع رواه مسلم من الحديث صحيح مسلم أبو عطية رضي الله تعالى عنه reported that مسروق and I visited Aisha رضي الله تعالى عنها and said O mother of the believers there are two companions of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and neither of them holds back from doing good acts. But one of them hastens to break fasting, and hastens to perform the maghrib prayer, <clears throat> while the other delays breaking som and delays performing salat. She asks, "Who is the one who hastens to break som and perform the maghrib prayer?" Masruq radiallahu anhu said, "It is Abdullah, meaning Abdullah bin Masud." She said the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to do this, or used to do so. This hadith has immense fawaid, and some of those fawaid, as we see, is the importance of ilm, <coughs> and asking, seeking knowledge when we don't know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ask the people of knowledge uh, if you don't know. So if you don't know about an issue, ask someone who does know. Ask... Uh, your local imam, or ask a talib al-ilm, or ask someone who has more knowledge uh, about this issue than you do. Another benefit of this hadith is also illustrating, of course, the importance of breaking the fast, and uh, of hastening to break the fast, and that this is from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa not what some of the other people do. And another benefit of this is the fadila of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, the, 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 the status of the um, Ummu Mu'mineen, because they said, uh, you know, they asked 
uh, the mother of the believers. Another benefit of this hadith is this hadith also shows us that of course women can be uh, students of knowledge or even to the makan of ulama if they seek knowledge and they seek knowledge at the hands of the ulama and they are blessed with that fadila from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to then where they can explain the religion, explain the religion to uh, other women and if need be to, uh, to the men. And those are just some of the benefits that we gain uh, from this, these ahadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and also in the uh, hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu when Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal qala rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qal Allah azza wa jal ahabbu abdi ilay a'ajjalahum fitran ruahu tirmi wa qala hadith hasan this is a hadith that's hasan uh and it was collected by Imam Al-Tirmidhi. Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala reported the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah the Most High says, so this is the hadith uh, Al-Qudsi, Allah the Most High says, from amongst my slave, slaves, the quicker the one is in breaking the psalm, the dearer he is to me. So we see from all of these ahadith, they give us the same lesson that it's imperative that we rush to break our fast when the time for prayer comes in. When the muaddin calls the idhan, it doesn't mean after he finishes, but when he begins, break your fast. Hasten to break your fast and make the supplication for the fasting person. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.